Diwali Passport, brought to you by Chatak Food Products and Anan Brand Wax Deers. When it comes to Pira and Ladu, I just use Chatak's Ladu and Pira Mitai Mix. It's a combination of traditional ingredients in one pack. I don't spend all that time preparing different ingredients like ma. Three quarter of the work is done. So now I can make fresh, delicious Pira and Ladu in about 15 minutes with the convenience of Chatak's Ladu and Pira Mitai Mix. Now ma's kitchen is a Chatak kitchen. Now available, Gulab Jamun Instant Mitai Mix. Lighting up for Diwali just got simple with the easy-to-use Anand brand wax deers. They're scientifically engineered to last longer, burn brighter, and keep on lighting. Anand brand wax deers do not require any prepping or filling and has less spillage and cleanup. These deers are recommended for outdoor use and can withstand light wind and rain. Plus, they're eco-friendly. Redeem your use cases for cash back. So put some green innovation into your Diwali celebrations with with Anand Brand Wax Deers. The Festival of Lights glows once again in many nations. Let's take a trip and find the interesting variations. Some are quiet and simple, and others filled with family and friends. Join us now for Diwali Passport on WESN. Today, we take a short flight, roughly an hour, and visit the only English-speaking country in South America, our neighbors, Guyana. Historically, Guyana was dominated by the Lokono and Kalina tribes, and then was colonized by the Dutch, before coming under British control in the late 18th century, and then they became British Guyana. By the way, Guyana or Guyana means land of many waters and the country is located on the northeast coast of South America. Guyana is divided into three counties, Essequibo, Demerara and Burbese. The capital Georgetown is based in Demerara. About 42 times the size of Trinidad, Guyana's population is relatively small, just under 800,000. And just like Trinidad and Tobago, their two major ethnic groups are Indo and Afro-Guyanese, with other groups being Amerindian, Chinese, Portuguese and some European. As far as religion goes, the country is roughly 64% Christian, 25% Hindu and 7% Muslim. The tradition of celebrating the Diwali festival was brought to Guyana by indentured laborers who immigrated from India beginning in 1838 during the time of the British rule. According to historic accounts, the Hindu immigrants struggled to maintain their culture and religion with limited means in those times. Diyas were made out of mud, but the little lights served as a beacon of hope to them as they toiled under the most difficult conditions. However, over the years, it has grown into one of Guyana's biggest celebrations, embraced by citizens of all backgrounds. Weeks before the big day, Guyanese Hindus observe a vegetarian fast and also abstain from alcohol. The custom of cleaning and decorating the house is the norm here too. On the actual day of Diwali, the usual Lakshmi Puja is done, either at home or at temples, followed by a day of visiting or entertaining friends and family. Of course, food, sweets and dia lighting are typical of the holiday in Guyana too. People wake up early to cook various dishes that Guyanese refer to as seven curry, in addition to sweet meats, which isn't actually meat, but delicious sweets and treats, or mitai, and the ever-popular sweet rice. One of the main events of the festival in Guyana is a countrywide motorcade by the Guyana Hindu Dharmic Sabha, based in Georgetown. Incredibly, it's been staged for over 42 years and is the only event of its kind in this region. And these motorcades have become synonymous with the celebration of Diwali in Guyana. The streets and the seawall are filled with onlookers who enjoy the sight of elaborately decorated vehicles and the dazzling display of floats with lights, music and actors dressed as Hindu mythological characters. The different Mandirs host the motorcades in their own regions and the Grand Motorcade happens on the evening before Diwali. 
द गायाना हिंदू धार्मिक सभा ऑल्सो होस्ट अ रंगोली कॉन्टेस्ट फॉर सेकेंडरी स्कूल वेर द चिल्ड्रन यूज देर आर्टिस्टिक स्किल्स टू क्रिएट इंट्रिकेट डिजाइन ऑन द ग्राउंड एट इट्स ओपन फॉर स्कूल ऑल ओवर गायाना Yet another element of their celebration leading up to Diwali is a relatively new event called the Sari Queen Pageant which began in 2019 and is held by the Guyana Divya Jyoti Association. I'm Shamji. Let's meet again for another exciting trip on WESN's Diwali Passport. When it comes to pira and laddu, I just use Chatak's laddu and pira mitai mix. It's a combination of traditional ingredients in one pack. I don't spend all that time preparing different ingredients like ma. Three quarter of the work is done. So now I can make fresh, delicious pira and laddu in about 15 minutes with the convenience of Chatak's laddu and pira mitai mix. Now ma's kitchen is a Chatak kitchen. Now available gulab jamun instant mitai mix. Lighting up for Diwali just got simple with the easy to use Anand brand wax deers. They're scientifically engineered to last longer, burn brighter and keep on lighting. Anand brand wax deers do not require any prepping or filling and has less spillage and cleanup. These deers are recommended for outdoor use and can withstand light wind and rain. Plus, they're eco-friendly. Redeem your use cases for cash back. So put some green innovation into your Diwali celebrations. With With Anand Brand Wax Deals, Diwali Passport, brought to you by Chatak Food Products, and Anand Brand Wax Deals.